Hello. All night. We're back again. We're up in Dirtmouth. What did we do last time? We we completely smacked the Coliseum and everybody in it. We fought Zote. And, you know, he didn't do well. At all. And, um... Yeah, we got our final nail upgrade, which I haven't even read yet. But we're up in Dirtmouth. How you doing, Elderbug? Good riddance to that creepy carnival. Town has returned to its former self, nice and quiet, as I like it. It's quiet enough to deal with those occasional travellers. Whole structures appearing out of nowhere, dreadful music, horrific masks, so all far too far than one old bug should have to face. There. Feeling tired, yeah. What? What's the meaning of this? Uh, Grey Prince, so dark, so troubled. What, what are you? What are you saying to Bretta? But that's not the only danger I had to co overcome in my quest for glory. You've noticed this trophy, haven't you? A keepsake from my final triumph in battle, deep in the pit below us. Yes, life earned claimed another victim, and the crowd erupted in ecstatic cheering. Cheering that was both loud and utterly sincere. To what do I owe my long string of triumphs and victories, you ask? As I said earlier, the key is my personal philosophy. The 57 precepts of Zoe. Particularly relevant here is the first precept. Always win your battles. As for the other 56 precepts, well... Never let them laugh at you. Fools laugh at everything, even at their superiors. But beware, laughter isn't harmless. Laughter spreads like a disease, and soon everyone will be laughing at you. You need to strike at the heart of this, of this perverse merriment quickly and stop it from spreading. Yeah, he will actually go on for 57 precepts. But all of the stuff about me is now changed to uh, Zote. Even a, an entire statue, which we can, uh, we, 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 you know, we can, uh, we can uh, dream nail this. Enter a very weird place. Ugh. I feel sick already. Terrifying, beautiful, powerful, <laughs> great prince of. I dislike this boss fight. I I treat it with a lot of respect because it's it's I don't know. It's, it's a tough fight, and it only gets tougher. There you go. And then Bretter up there is going to get really upset and fall. Yep. Got a load of essence too. She's not feeling as good. Great Prince, your words, are they repeating? I came to this kingdom to fulfill a promise, and now I have succeeded. That promise I made so long ago, a promise to myself. A promise of glory. Glory for I, is up for mighty. I never doubted myself, never faltered, now I've achieved everything I desired. He... <sighs> A cue the meme of a problem with you is that you're completely delusional. <laughs> but we can do this again. And it gets harder. He gets harder. At least the music is good. He gets. Two more names. Gorgeous, passionate, terrifying, beautiful, powerful Grey Prince Oak. Oh. 
See, the problem with his boss is that he runs into you, and contact damage is a big fucking no-no in my eyes. Unless it's actually, like, properly telegraphed. Which it usually isn't. But I have practiced enough of this fight to get it decently well. I'd say we give it one more try. Diligent, overwhelming, gorgeous, passionate, terrifying, beautiful, powerful, great prince of... stuff, he spawns new goons, he jumps at you from out of nowhere, Get a bit of some healing going. Never mind, he decided I'm not allowed to. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, there is one. Th I do want to do it again. I just want to show something. I do want to get a refill of health though. She doesn't change until you beat him like 10 times, 5 times. I will not be doing that, I cannot be bothered. I don't enjoy this fight enough <laughs> to slog through that. Vigorous, diligent, overwhelming, gorgeous, passionate, terrifying, beautiful, powerful, great prince of... Yep, there it is. He now does two masks of damage. Stop running at me. You're fucking kidding me. That's a horrible spawn. No. He just did the same thing three times in a row. And he just jumped at me. So why not? Mr. Zoak, can I heal please? No. Yeah, I get out of here. I'm not fighting you again. It's not worth it. <laughs> Check if anything's changed. I don't. Oh. Did they reduce it? Did they change it? Preset free, always be rested. Huh. That young lass, why she up and departed over the cliffs with, her, with only the briefest words of farewell. 
It's a perilous journey she's set upon herself. I can't understand where she gained such fortitude. I'd for her a timid sort. One after my own mind. How wrong I was. The call of adventure lures all but me. Huh. I did it. <laughs> I did the thing. Well, yeah. That is the conclusion to Bretta's story. She leaves. Because she originally liked me for saving her. And then Zoke comes and like says a bunch of like mean horrible shit about me. Saying that I'm a monster. Like a horrible person. So Bretta doesn't trust me. Then I expose Zoke. So now she can't trust anybody. So thinking she can't trust anybody, she just leaves. I guess. Anyway. Our last dream boss, I think. Unless I missed one. It's our good buddy. Sleeping soundly. Oh, bro. Mr. Don't Defender himself. And his dream world takes us to the White Palace. Because he is one of the King's Knights. In the back, you see all of the King's Knights. From left to right. Lemire. Mysterious Lemire. It was Lemire, I don't remember. Um, you have. Fierce Drea. In the middle, you have a pale king. Can't do it anymore, I forget. Um, kindly Isma. Um, the bug that the Dung Defender had like a thing for. Um, and furthest right, the False Knight, better known as Mighty Hegemol. And of course, the Dung Defender Ogrim. And he is the last one. They're, they're all dead. Except maybe Hegemon. It's it's possible that Hegemon is still alive, just without his shell somewhere. But we never see him. My friends, I will protect our dear kingdom. Have faith in me. We will all meet again, I promise it. Ah, oh, poor guy. But enough stalling. Enough stalling. It is time to visit the Temple of the Black Egg. Having broken the seal, go back up to that mouth. And see what the end of the game holds for us. There are two endings we can get at the moment. I've locked myself out of one of them. And Hornet's here. I'm impressed, little ghost. You've burdened yourself with the fate of this world, yet you still stand strong. To break into... To break the dreamer's seals alone would alone be considered an impossible task. But to accept that void inside yourself that casts you as something rather exceptional. I'm impressed. Oh well, no, it's yeah, it's the same. Could it achieve that impossible thing? Should it? Laugh and move 
The path is opened, one way or another, an end waits inside. I won't be joining you in this. That space is built to sustain your likes. Its bindings would drain me if I were to join you. Don't be surprised. I'll not risk my own life in your attempt. Though, if a moment presents it, I'll aid as I am able. Thank you, Hornet. Void in of itself is a poisonous substance. It corrupts. So those not born of void would not be able to sustain itself in this place. Vessel, though bound, you shall know the state of the world. Hallownest will be whole again. What percentage are we at? 107. We are down 5%. 5%? I thought we'd be down 4%. Unless we get a percent for beating this boss. Probably. Anyway. How's my charms looking? Perfect. He sees me. That's the Hollow Knight. We saw his statue in the City of Tears. We see his cracked shell. His cracked nail. And this is the root of the infection. The radiance that has been sealed inside the whole night. That was unfortunate. I uh, I woke him up after hitting a multi hit. Uh, this is sad. He's trying to help us, but he's being controlled by the light, so he's gonna stab himself. It's really sad. And Hornet is here to help with an obvious prompt to uh, to dream nail him. Nah, sorry Hornet, you're dead. But so is the Hollow Knight. And we will usurp his power. We will take the infection into ourselves. With Hornet gone. And us taking in the infection. We are now sealed in this place in the Hollow Knight's stead. Are we perfectly hollow? I'm not sure. Will we be able to contain the radiance? I don't know. But that is Hornet's shell. Hornet's mask on that black egg. If we aren't able to contain the radiance, the only way to break that seal is inside the egg and it will never be broken again. What a game. But we're not done. After the credits roll we will get... I don't know. I don't know if it's the true ending anymore. Before DLC it was the true ending. I guess it's the true ending. I don't see God Home as being like particularly canon. 
It's a, it's a weird one. What a game. Such a small team as well. Like, for programming is, is like a few people, and then the testers and the translators are, are the majority here. Special thanks to Ludum Dari, which is the game jam that I think sort of jump started this the idea for this game. They made a game called Hungry Night, I think, for that, or something like that. Where they had to where the little knight had to pick up cherries and it extended their life every time they picked it up and it didn't have a story it was just a small like sort of like a endless mobile game kind of but that just evolved into Hollow Knight and what an evolution it was Congratulations, you played skillfully and proved you have a steel soul. Thank you for taking the time to explore and conquer the world we built. We will meet again soon with a new challenge for you. When soon, damn it. Yeah, and there's the steel soul. Completion. Got a bunch of achievements for that. Because I got 107% in under 20 hours, I think. Or like over 100% in under 20 hours. I think that's the achievement. But yeah. We get the Steel Soul. Um, menu theme. Which is cool. But. That's not it. We're not done yet. We can't leave Hornet on that horrible fate. If anybody deserves, or if anybody should be sacrificing themselves here, it's me. It shouldn't be Hornet. So, let's throw down. Stop that. <laughs> Stop that too. Those pillars are the only move that the whole knight does. It does double damage. So they're really scary. Okay. I actually want to go on the other side of him. That's for space. I missed the pogo because he fell over. <laughs> there you go, on it. I will get good, I promise. Get in, loser. We're gonna go fight God. <laughs> Did 
time to fight Radiance. Radiance is the second boss to get a title card. Oh well, I guess it's the first. Oh. Uh, I'm fucking up. It's been so long since I fought for Radiance. I will feel, damn it. Okay. Panic over. Panic. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, not bad. I mean, kind of bad, but it's fine. Shit. I never thought I'd say this, but. No. No. There goes the Steel Soul. On on Radiance. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. <laughs> I can't believe it. You know, I'll give you the rest of that fight. I owe it to you. It's it, it was just so jarring. I've played, I've beaten like the harder version of this fight and it's it's slower it's weird the rhythm is all off that's that's upsetting it was just really shaky i i couldn't like think Oh well. I have a, you know, I want it. You, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Don't worry, Va. It's fine. I did beat the game. I did achieve what I set out to achieve. And I will still complete all of the, um, I will still complete all of the Pantheons. Hi Hollow Knight. I didn't even check my charms, but I'm I'm assuming they're right. I don't think they're right actually. I do have quick slash, I don't know what I have on. Do have Shaman Stone? I do have close slash. Get 
I, I will, I promise. This is... Radiance is not getting by me this time. I can't check my charms. You fucker. How dare you. How dare you make a fool of me! Pure focus mode. Oh, I had to say something, didn't I? I was gonna be like, oh, a hitless run would be my redemption, right? Had to say some shit. Soul. I hate those so much. Oh. Oh, I had to spawn over one place. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Do not do this to me. <laughs> Die. Okay. With the void heart. We have conquered the void and we can enter our true form. An Eldritch Horror to slap the shit out of our radiance. And all the void dissipates. Hornet, you are safe. The threat is gone, but so are we. siblings in the void can return to rest. Thank you for watching. This has been another episode of Hollow Knight. With the series being technically done, all that's left is to do the um, Pantheons, which is the God Home DLC where they added a bunch of boss rushes, a few new bosses, one of which is my just favorite 
harder version of a boss we know and is my favorite boss in gaming currently. You know, we'll see. But for now, you've seen these credits, so thank you for watching. I'll, I'll see you next time.